Hey everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video, we'll be going through a contents review of the BB Delta Plus. And this is from the Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn series, released by Bandai back in an amazing 2013. Gosh, that was almost a decade ago, which actually now feels quite scary. So, contents review, Delta Plus. Um, being contents review, the box is not available, this, that's why it's not an unboxing, um, but at the same time it's still pretty much going through what would have been in the box. So, um, I guess we'll just get straight into it. So, Delta Plus. Um, I will admit and granted it's going to have been professionally painted etc um, the BB of the Delta Plus does look quite nice now obviously there will be some colors here that um, will not necessarily be correct um, such as all these whites which I suspect will not be white but um, that's okay so we have the Delta Plus uh, view from the front of the completed kit and here at the bottom we have one from the rear. Given this was from 2013, we've got the Delta Plus stats in Japanese, but only in Japanese. And this was um, 379 in the uh, BB line. And it has gone a very long way. So there's the front. Looking at the back, um, we'll come back to that because that's probably more with its um, construction. We'll flip it inside. So, uh, on the left, a um, bit of a description of the Delta Plus, a um, bit of posing, a uh, bit of shots with the unicorn as well. And I believe this will actually come included with a base jabber. Um, so obviously this page here is just uh, various uh, tidbits um, going back to the Unicorn series. But I do like how they've got the mobile suit and the Wave Rider um, displayed here. Wave Rider of course will probably be a parts former, but that's to be expected for a BB. Um, the comic series that they have continuing in the BB line. Um, all in Japanese, unfortunately, so I do not have any clue what they're talking about. But that's okay. Uh, I still think it's pretty nifty that they even include that, so definitely good for the um, Japanese audiences who can read that. Okay, so before we go through the actual instructions, so there is a parts list here. So a A runner, B runner, two Cs. A D, um, some type of action base plate, and some polycaps. And it's not standard for a SD. Um, wow, the instructions are actually a lot smaller than I would have thought. Um, there you have it, uh, going through the head. It looks like there'll be some different stickers uh, for the eyes, which is cool. Me being you, we'll probably just go the standard solid eyes. Uh, so building the head, the body, uh, the backpack, um, arms, feet and legs, um, assembly of the body, weapons, base, base jabber, um, which is pretty cool. And then obviously here we've got the instructions on how to transform slash parts form to the wave rider and I guess if we go back to that page that we skipped at earlier so um, the base jabber looks like it can act as a bit of a stand slash base slash um, extra bits holder so we've got different accessories hands uh, being used within the Jabber um, in its storage compartments. Um, the head is just 
unceremoniously attached to it, but that's okay. Um, the base jabber, uh, when used with the unicorn. And then you have the penultimate base jabber with the Delta Plus and its wave rider with the unicorn standing on it. Um, which, if I recall correctly, it does do. And also at the very bottom, we have the painting guide. Um, interestingly, that they've used the GM numbers, which would suggest that um, those are the Gundam Mark colours. And from which um, series they would be. So GM44 seed and GM43 seed is most likely from one of the seed sets. Um, the others I would not too sure on. So that was the manual. Going through everything else. So stickers, yes. Um, there is an abundance of white on the right. So that will obviously color correct a lot of that. Um, eyes on the left. Uh, some camera screens. And I'm assuming the bottom left is uh, venting. Those were the stickers in terms of the runners. So, a runner in that nice, um, I dare say, shadow grey type colour. So, that it's majority of the external parts uh, being a BB. Uh, the legs will obviously be a bit um, standardised and somewhat hollow, but that's okay. Still some good detail on here. And obviously, the nice uh, oversized head for the Delta Plus. Um, there's obviously bits of its wave rider and shield, so yes, there will be bits in here that are not colour accurate, but that's okay. In fact, I think those silver stickers will probably go into these bits on the shoulders. So, there's the A runner uh, in that nice shadow grey colour. Uh, next is the B runner. Still in that um, shadow grey type colour, uh, so this will be wings for the backpack, wave rider, and the base jabber, which is actually quite detailed. Um, that's actually quite cool. It's a shame the bottom is completely hollow, but um, the top section is actually quite nice. It's quite snazzy, especially for a BB. It's quite cool that they um, include some of these. Um, Nice little add-ons within the kits. Okay, so we have two C runners, C1, C2. So C, we'll put C2 down. Well, yeah, we'll put C2 down. Uh, C1 is in a nice, um, it's kind of like a purpley blue. I dare say if I was like doing my Warhammer days, I'd almost say no. Lord's blue. Um, but anyway, um, obviously that's in the nice blue colour. A lot of the feet are in here and I suspect some of the main torso will be in here as well. So that's C1 and over here we have C2. Single piece. This will be for the eyes. Um, if they are kept that way since the Delta Plus does have those nice red eyes happening. Uh, D runner in grey. So, a few joints, weapons, parts of the stand, um, some hands, not too bad. Rifle is actually surprisingly quite detailed, which is once again quite cool. That was the D runner in grey. Um, a plastic uh, stand, so it's an SV1, no idea what SV would stand for, stand vehicle, uh, not that, that makes sense, but um, anyway, very cool that a actual stand base is included with this, so base of the stand, um, your main body, and obviously that's probably the attachment connector. That's pretty cool, that's included. I believe this is in clear, so that's cool. 
And then lastly, we'll do these together. We have PC zero. Well, I was going to say zero zero three. PC three zero three and PC seven. So two different styles of polycaps. Uh, one being the um, rounded ball type, and the other also having some rounded ball types, as well as most likely um, uh, elbow joints, leg joints joints generally I guess uh, so those are the polycaps and they are in grey so there we go the contents of the BB Delta Plus um, I do have a plan for this well an additional plan to this I've got a few plans for this um, so definitely stick around to see how those come into fruition um, hopefully sooner rather than later um, but I'm sure this will be a fun little kit to build and it does remind me I should really finish my high grade Delta Plus which I think just needs the rifle done yeah the unfinished kits in the vault are in all sorts of states anyway another story for another day thank you for watching this video feel free to leave a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you do feel free to hit that notification bell extra content can also be found on my instagram account and a link to that will be in the description below before i forget um i will also include a link um to the data plus and maybe some other um, unicorn themed BBs um, over to Hobby Link Japan in the description as well. Um, can't remember if I grabbed this from Hobby Link back in the day. Um, I do have another one coming in which is actually is from Hobby Link, so I'll include some links down below. Feel free to have a look and see if anything piques your interest. Thanks again for your support to help grow this channel. Stay safe and take care. And I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.